A bus has been set alight in Cape Town as taxi operators are expected to go on strike this morning. In fact, taxi bosses are unhappy with the scrapping of that Blue Dot pilot program. It was introduced to reward drivers who obey the rules of the road and conduct themselves in a professional manner. Let's take you live to the scene now. Our reporter, Nasipi Same, joins us this morning. Uh, Nasipi, do we know for sure that this uh, torching of this bus is related to the taxi strike this morning? Well, Michelle, these are obviously all too familiar scenes when uh, there is a other taxi protest or some sort of taxi-related strike. We usually see Golden Arrow buses being targeted. Um, however, we do know that Santaco came out a few days ago condemning any action uh, or violence towards any other public transport, and they had indicated that uh, their taxi stay away, which will be on Monday today and tomorrow, the two-day stay away, will be peaceful. Later on this morning, we will be speaking to Santaco as well. We have inquired about the bus that is currently up in flames, or engulfed in flames rather, here in Kailich. As you can see, firefighters are already hard at work to try and extinguish the fire um, from this Golden Arrow bus. But at this very moment, information is still very sketchy in regards to is it related to the taxi stay away or is it not? We do understand that the taxi industry um, took a decision uh, earlier on this month that they will be um, embarking on a stay away for about two days to try and put pressure on government in renewing the pilot project, which is the Blue Dot uh, a Taxi uh, a Program, um, which is a way to incentivize drivers of driving in a correct manner and the likes and saying that it was in the step direction or rather step in the right direction in regards to formalizing the industry as we do know that on the 30th of November or month end that program or pilot program will cease. However, we do understand that the MEC of Transport earlier on this month when Santaco made this announcement that they had indicated that they would like national government to step in and be able to foot that bill as the province is unable to afford it at this present moment. Now, CB, of course, the timing of this uh, taxi strike couldn't come um, at a worse time. It's matric exams, and of course, people need to get to school and work. Indeed. I mean, as much as there was uh, the communication last week that they were going to embarking on a two-day taxi strike and calling on people to not obviously take advantage of the fact that the taxis will not be operating and attacking other public transport uh, modes. They, we, I mean, at this present moment, there's actually um, learners and people standing right here and people taking pictures and videos of the bus behind us to show their employers that uh, they are currently unable to get to work at this present moment. So you can imagine the stress and also the trauma um, if there were people inside that bus that obviously had to get out. But at this present moment, we are yet to reach out to Golden Arrow bus. Um, but just being in Kailich alone and driving throughout the course of this morning, there's been heavy, heavy police deployment, both city and um, uh, police, um, in various uh, uh, spots throughout Kailich to obviously ensure that calm is restored, even though there is this taxi stay away. However, the two taxi uh, ranks that we did visit, we did not see any taxis parked there. Nasi Pisame, live to us there in Kailicha in Cape Town. Thanks very much indeed for that early morning update this Monday.